Virgin Duck character, but I think what the conclusion is going to be was chat log show that he called me a fucking terrible caster and asked for a permaban, which I guess he ended up getting. We will, <laughs> um, we're going to unban you, Sergeant Duck, and I want you to understand it had nothing to do with your donation, but because it was like one bad comment out of months. So, uh, I don't know. Here's the thing, guys. Pro tip. Don't ask the mods for permaban. You're going to get one. Yeah. It's the uh, same thing on Team Liquid. The reason I'm, I'm doing this too, guys, is I really don't want to make another account. Uh, if you do that, you actually are ban evading, which is against Twitch in terms of service. And then you get locked out of Twitch, like the site, not just the channel, the you know, base TV. So uh, to save his ass a little bit, because it really wasn't that big of an offense. Sergeant Duck, consider yourself free. I have just typed slash unban Sergeant Duck in chat. Anyways, getting back into the Iron Chef tournament, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves in the finals of the preliminaries. It took some explaining, it took some due diligence. These guys finally understand how this is going to work at this point. For those who might not, though, the winner of this doesn't win the tournament. The winner of this best of one wins the brackets, which grants them challenger status. They then get to pick either Puck, Xenocider, or Kane to fight in a best of seven. There will be one map that features a secret ingredient, and... That's where the money lies. So winning this match doesn't do anything for them just yet. They've still got to play out a best of seven. Spotting here in the bottom left corner of the map, it's going to be the red Terran player, Spear. In the top right, as the blue Protoss. It's Hunter. It's a lot of gas. Yeah, I, I'm wondering if he's planning to go super heavy with the all-in on this. I mean, it could just be for an Oracle opening and maybe doesn't play super crazy. But... Yeah, there we go. The proxy. Uh, Spears is a different caliber of player than uh, anyone he's fought up to this point. I'm not saying Spears amazingly god mode good, but he's not exactly your average North American diamond player that they've been playing in these best of ones up until probably about the semifinals. Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately, like really, really unfortunate, Spear did not scout with an SCV. Uh, most people started scouting with SCVs versus Protoss after time where they said that you don't really have to because you're Reapers because A, earlier gateways is a problem, and B, like seeing a proxy target as fast as possible is the nicest way to go. Um, but you can be a little bit greedy and not do that. And unfortunately, Spear is going to get maybe just a little bit late notice. Hopefully notice enough that he is able to throw down some type of defense, whether it's a bunker, if he doesn't think he has enough time to get a wood oh, mine man. out, or an engineering bay. I was, you know, I was kind of hoping, to be honest with you, that it was going to be a robo. Like, Immortals would have been so cool. <laughs> Proxy robo is just really... That needs to be such a big thing, and I guess it's kind of coming back. That's the problem. Okay, he decides to go for the bunker, which I think is the, uh, the only correct move that you can really do. You can try and... Pull SCVs, the Widowmine mine comes out, but that. Well, I mean, this is for multiple reasons brilliant as well, because he. Okay, you, there's really one thing. It's an Oracle, right? Maybe not in years past, but he sees two gases, one pile at home. I mean, he's got to know what's going on. He's gonna look for the Stargate. Might not find it right away, but oh, lift the SCV, put him inside the commissary, save him, save him, save him. You're no supernova. Ah. <laughs> Thus, I am disappointed. Yeah, son. Uh, he's gonna lose the marines oh, no, though. No, 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 no. He's uh -oh. gotta get into that bunker. But oh, you know what? What am I? I enough time. Oh, oh, he's gonna have to ring not. around the. He's gonna have to ring around the Rosie a little bit here. That's for certain. Can he get to the bunker? though, is the big question. He's gonna uh, sack the oracle for the SCVs. I'd say do it. Oh, we have oh, is that energy? Oh, cool. Okay, nine kills is the limit here. This really isn't too bad considering there are two command centers to drop mules with at this point. Yeah. Plus, he does throw on a Nexus. It's not going to be follow up in an all-in where suddenly, you know, losing the Marines is more important than losing the SCVs. No. And hopefully Spears Reaper will get an eye on that Nexus. Come on, Reaper. <laughs> oh, he's killing some probes, I guess. That's cool, too. I mean, if if you can get, well, five probe kills behind this, that's really not bad. Uh, if the Widowmine walks across the map, maybe it catches it, but it's actually staying at home for defense. And that's not a bad choice either because you don't know how dedicated this was going to be. Mm. Uh, I mean, scouting the robot with the Reaper 2 is really nice. He yeah. might see the Nexus on the way out. Oh, this is a beautiful scout. Yeah, even seeing the robo probably confirmed that it's not going to be um, an all in. I guess it, you know, Pearls can do like really weird stuff, but <laughs> that would have been his guess. But seeing the Nexus definitely under bit confirms. Now he knows that he's good. Uh, doesn't really have to worry about putting on a bunker at the front either, just in case it was like a three gate pressure. Like, that's going to be a while off too. So it's just about getting the Woodmine drop to do some damage. 
Well, I'm uh, I'm gonna go ahead and assume those donations are probably gonna get refunded on account of the fact Sergeant Duck. The first thing he says after we unban him is foul. God, this is what happens when we show compassion. Thanks for the money. Well, no, he'll probably do something stupid and refund it. People do it all the time. Oh, it's that's really true. Irritating. Well, now you're well, now you know for being an asshole, I guess. Yeah, Sergeant <laughs> Duck is uh, got at least two thousand-ish people who know he's a bit of a dick. <laughs> Hopefully others can warn other streamer, warn other streamers, etc., etc. But okay, uh, what of mine's coming down? I mean, he doesn't really need them anymore, but they're still gonna be functional in the matchup. Uh, the drop is gonna be there. We go, uh, pretty nice as well. As there might not be the best layout of detection. Sure, there'll be an observer. You'll catch one of them. But if he decides to go for the main and you know poke the natural with the marines, oh, he's not gonna see this, is he? Okay, he actually sees this. Does he turn around to kill it? I mean, killing the pylons are pretty. He knows there's two pylons on his side of the map. This is really dangerous to leave alive. Yeah, uh, I mean it's. You could also say that for Hunter, he doesn't really want to use them yet. You know, he's trying to you know make up for the oracles he just lost, the opening that he just 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 did. Blah. So he doesn't really want to warp in two zealots over there, but that is always the risk, and it's quite scary. Well, there's those double one of my drops, and Hunter's oh not responding. He's not no. looking. Oh, those were both pretty good hits. Five on one, five on the other. Nice. That's. That's so good. Now he's up by four or five SCVs, two mules at a time, too. Again, the only thing that's pretty bad is that his stim was delayed, but there it goes, starting now. Another one of my drop coming to that. Yo, this is this is almost exactly the same way he played versus Arium. Like, copy-paste, post the openers, and uh, <laughs> you've got the same game kind of going underway. Trying to do the same amount of harass and maybe get ahead in the same way, but no, nope, he's looking to push a little bit. There's a wood of mine here waiting. Oh, oh. Oh, he did on a bunch of gateways. Oh my god, he's up to actually five gateways right now. So it is going to be some more all in. That won't matter if he can't mine. And both bases have been driven off. Oh, this other one of mine. Oh! No, oh, terrible! What? <laughs> ah! Yo, if he. I think if he pulls this, if he's back at home. Yeah, he should be able to hold this. Not preparing the bunker, but even just buffering for the marauders. Does it very awkwardly? He, he sends the SCVs in but pulls the marines back? Like, what? Ugh. Uh, he still has the other probe set up, or the other woodmine on the other side of the map, though, and while these will get cleaned up, you know, a spear... I don't know, he's only got a couple of immortals to stop, really. I think this is totally viable for him to hold at home. Yeah. These two marines?! Look oh, look at the drop control! Okay, well, <laughs> was drop control. Uh, if the woodmine was off cooldown, this immortal would have died, and that would have been really nice. The thing about this attack is that it's small and the oh. buffer isn't there to stop the immortal from going down. The immortal can be targeted down, and that's the, the weakest thing about an immortal. The uh, observer gets flown right into that missile turret. That's actually really unfortunate because of how critical defense was going to be for him here. But SCVs are getting pulled. <laughs> Pulling the boys. Stim not done just yet. Concussor shell's not done just yet. He's got to be careful. He doesn't overextend with this. Mm, well, there's a bit more buffer, so if he tries to target on the immortals, he's going to take some swipes from the zealots, and they do a lot of damage if they're allowed mm. to. Mm. Stim is about to finish, though, and I still feel pretty good for Spear here. It's a, it's a tough one, though. It's still dangerous. It's uh, it's getting worse with the army bulking up for Hunter. No, 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 no. You better just go repair that. No, 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 no. Okay, actually, he isn't going to try and attack it. So that command center will live, and that's the most important thing. But despite that, what am I in blockage and harass really on? Oh, this this really puts Spear in a tough spot. He's going to go for a drop with a Marine and some what am I I like this move, but... The defense at home, okay, you turtle up on two bases like this, maybe you hold, maybe you don't, but you're not mining, you're going to start falling off against a Protoss oh. player. Maybe, maybe. We'll see what his return damage can do, but you know, it is it is rather like, it's a dedicated attack from the Protoss player, just, he's blowing on his gases now. He's going to try and get out of the tech, you know, because Immortals really aren't that high tech. Maybe going to Colossus, probably going to Colossus. The drop does occur in the natural, and there's nothing there to stop it, that would have mine... Oh, it's juke done. Good control on the hunter to make sure that doesn't do maximum damage. Uh, immediately targets the medevac, so he's gonna have to pull back. And it's actually just draw the army away for a moment, but it's still not secure to go take that natural. And the problem with this is spear. Okay, you can drop mules all day, but you're gonna be dropping mules on one base. Like that's yeah. not good times. He's gonna try and get to the bottom of the ramp for this. He does have stim for this go around. Oh. I was gonna be able to target down the immortals though. Those force fields were again good. And he has to retreat. Oh, what about uh -oh. coming off pull down? Come on. It's the worst wood of mine of all time. Ah! Uh, Pick up the reeds. Just you know, making up for the the first initial really really good one. Yeah, I mean the the counter drop play was pretty good out of spear initially, but it's starting to taper off. 
And uh, unless it completely pulls that army back home, I mean, okay, you've landed the command center, you're still not mining, you're still behind in income, and how are you going to ever build up an army that can take this on? Uh, uh, if those immortals aren't there, I really feel like this army's gonna win, though. Yeah, this army crushes stalkers and sentries. There's no question yeah. about that. Zealots, what a joke. Concussive shells, what's up? You don't have charge. But it's the immortals that just do so much damage. I mean, 50 damage a shot to armored units when marauders only have 125 health. Yikes. All right, so everyone kind of disengaged from the situation. That's fine. But I would still give Spear... He has the opportunity to win this game. Like, I don't want to say he's going to win this game, like, outright, right? Because it's it's not really determined. But good drops, good multitasking, which he showed versus the last Protoss he played, that can definitely bring him back. But he's got to start preparing for this Colossus. I mean, Hunter might be following, which is a Colossus all in. In fact, I think he is. He has no Forge. He has no Twilight Council. Like, that's the extent of his tech. And it could be a really good move, unless Spear Scout's it. I almost... Part of me thinks this is fake, but Bobble Convolute donates $15 and says, Oh my god, you guys are fucking terrific casters. Perma love, please. On one hand, it's like, that might actually be Bobble just being sarcastic with the other guy. But on the other, I just feel like that might be the other guy getting mad at Bobble for timing him out. I don't know. Wow, the mind games are real. <laughs> right? Regardless, thank you if that's genuine, Bobble. Thank you so much. Uh, we got the Marines starting to come across the map. He's going to find with his drop, tempting to kill that pylon, but as he heads towards the main, he knows this oh, has been boy. scouted. Hunter is waiting with those stalkers. Don't you dare boost in there, Spear. I will just condemn you in the, the name of the Terran what? gods. I mean, if you boost in and then quickly turn around. Not with that many. Well, yeah, yeah, quickly turn around. Yeah, 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 of course. But does he do that? Uh, well, I'm worried about them leaving here. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't know that there's not blink, so this is really dangerous <laughs> for a lot of different bro. reasons. Draws like the I army just... to the main, might push him with the natural and kill that nexus, and if that's the case, that's a good case that's a scenario. That's stalkers. Again, they don't have blink. I mean, actually, that is a freebie right there. And the army's responding. He takes the bait. Spear realizes and starts pushing towards the natural, but Hunter quickly turns around, realizing, wait a minute, this is too easy. Uh, despite this fight, though, he's got to be careful. He does take out most of the zealots. So there's not a lot of cannon fodder, but there's not enough medevacs to evacuate this. This is Spear's army. He's going to get on top of the Colossus. Takes one down. Can't quite get the second, but he does remove a lot of the immortals from play. Was this attack worth it? Big question I no mark. Idea. I have no idea. Uh, the last immortal, unfortunately, did not go down. The observer's with the army, so that's not a free widow mine hit. He scans, tries to see the extent of the army. He goes for the Colossus. Tries to get on top of the Colossus. He gets the Colossus. But I don't think there's Especially. enough marauders to take the stalkers. Either more medevacs or more I marauders. I think that it's enough that, you know, because he still has the time for him to get over there, and then Hunter has to wait for a proxy pile on a finish. Actually, it's, there's one finishing down and below. So, I don't know. It's like 20 seconds. I think he can get enough of an army to defeat a gateway only yeah. army. Three marauders at a time. I mean, they're going to be the kingmakers in this. It's not like Hunter has upgrades. Spear does have an upgrade. Oh, he could kill us. Attack, uh, please. If okay. he was paying more attention. There we go. There's the splits. Can he do it? He gets the Colossus. Nice moves. Couple of woodmines back at home, but sadly there are observers and scan range is uh <laughs> oh gonna actually almost get one of the stalkers scv's being pre-pulled Ooh, those force fields are good back. kills the immortal oh immortal bye bye oh come no on, come, on, gonna... come on come on come on okay barely gets it keeps the medevacs alive boost to the side force fields are gone scv's unleashed to the front lines but there's only about four or five left at this point can the marauders do this they've got plus one weapons they've got stim they're so good versus stalkers but his spear lost too much he's down to 13 workers behind this the counterattack would just be too strong. He has Hunter to kill. So much into this. One he has Colossus to kill. Like, okay, let's not go there. But he has to walk back home to no buffer for him. But that's still the problem. If right now, Spear has to end this game. There's, I don't care how good you guys think mules are. There's no recovering off of having almost no SCVs playing. This move has to do some pretty good damage. Kill the Nexus. Kill some probes. It's gonna be hard. There, not a lot of buffer, but there is buffer for that Colossus. He needs to wait, get the units killed up again. There he goes. All right. He's looking good. That's a lot of marauders. Just need to spread a little bit. Um, again, the worst thing about this actually is those zealots connected to the army is going to be the worst thing. Oh! Uh. Oh, two zealots. No. Uh, just two zealots make such a headache. Yeah, they can do a lot of damage too if left unattended. You can't ignore them. Like, you ignore lings. What? Marauder, please. Uh, engagement coming inside no, the natural. What am I just going to burrow? Not going to get their shots off. Those observers still holding strong, but concussive shells are good against stalkers, not against uh, zealots. Oh no, oh, I spear! Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up! Oh no! Oh no! He throws away so much spear. of his army. Spear, okay. Well, spear loses now. He has no army, and oh, he has dear. no economy. Oh, spear! Fourteen workers versus forty-four. 
I mean, I guess you might actually take this back a second. Objectively here, Hunter doesn't have a lot of mining left. He might have 44 pros, but that's going to be on one base. So he yeah, might not actually be that far ahead of Spear. I mean, he's I still never really... in a better spot, no questions. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't as afraid for the economy as you were. Uh, maybe I had too much faith in mules, but I was more thinking about, like, Hunter's just not appropriately mining. But that was with a good army. He has actually terrible army right now. The buffer's here for the Colossus. He has no Vikings. It's going to be a base trade. It's going to be an awkward one. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't think Spear can really do this. I want him to, though. <laughs> Unloads a couple of units, chases off that Colossus. Warpin's coming back at home. He's got to lift his command center once again, but he's also stuck in that one base scenario. His main's mined out for the most part. Cutting over on the other side of the map, if he breaks that Colossus, it might not matter if he can't keep up with the warp in potential. But he will take out Hunter's initial defense, goes for the Colossus, looks for the kill. Oh, the Zealots. Oh, the Zealots hurt so much. Yeah, they do. Uh, meat pick grinders up, that they up. be. Come back later. Oh, he's, kinda, he's just like giving up at home too. Like this is everything for him right now. All the control, all the focus is going on killing that one Colossus. <laughs> oh, one Marine can't do it. Three health remains. Oh no. He's going to go for it again. Oh, oh, oh. This is his last hope. His last all in. <laughs> oh my God. Why is that Hunter just killing him right now? He was dancing a lot at home, man. I, I mean, you can't really aim move up that ramp too reliably. <laughs> <laughs> he can't aim move. It's too hard. Uh, okay, so the Colossus might die, die here as two drops, yeah, go on top of Colossus. It's kind of hard to defend against that. But why is he just killing the units at home? Please. Oh, almost gets that Colossus. Drops are going to pick off all the probes that are long distance mining. He gets a command center out to start muling a new base for mining, but he's got no production. He's going to float over here, replace that base. Uh, base you replace. Can, you can draw an overgrowth, guys. You weren't aware. Ah, yeah, that's right. But, you know, not with mining still available, because he could eventually get a Phoenix out, he could eventually get a Voidry out. Right. Uh, he has to kill both Nexus, and the rest of Nexus can't be your mate. Yeah. So, I mean, it, Zombie Girls making jokes, but you can actually draw out on this map. Ooh, Picks up about as much as he can. Poor Marauder. He's going to that float spot. Do we have referee? We do, okay, so we can talk to them if that's the case. But takes out the last couple of Marauders, or Stalkers. The Marauders have that much damage. If he keeps all the probes from escaping, that's... It's either a draw or a or a win for Spear. This I mean, I don't think Hunter knows about that base just yet. He will in a moment, maybe? No, he's focused on coming back home to defend. How do you not know about that base? <laughs> oh, SCVs are pulled to the other side of the map. What? <laughs> this is like oh, that were, gif of uh, Brent. Picked up. I know, but it's like, do you see that gif where Brent dropped on Catalina? <laughs> he dropped like 16 SCVs because he picked up the wrong units. Oh, it goes for the probe. Precious, precious probes. Takes the last couple out. Still seven mining in the main. Looks like that base was found out about. There's nothing else at home. Just mules mining. This is everything for Spear. Everything. <laughs> the supplies have gotten so close. <laughs> this is so stupid. Uh, it's the power of that Colossus, though. Can it beat out the medevacs? Those SCVs that were pulled, you know, scumbags they be, weren't repairing those medevacs. <laughs> Okay, he floats over a pylon. Uh, he might have been able to get away with a secret corner base. Yo, we need to run best of one tournaments more often, seriously. I know, right? Why are there such good games of best of one? <laughs> I know, this is... Like, you know, two gates and two raxes. This is oh, better than every best oh, of three we've Jeez. <laughs> oh, can a PNG win this? Oh, did he kill the observer? If he gets cloaked, he yeah, there's no stuff. Oh my god, but can he? Can he? That's there's the big a, there's question. A, there's, a, there's still a robo, so he needs to target oh, that down. Oh, but look here. He's going to be focused up in the top left. Oh, but a starport gets started. Stargate gets started. What is this game? He can target that down, though. Like, the army's going to be distracted. He knows where the army is. Okay, he's not going to be able to get cloaked. That's already kind of But uh, still, the Banshee's going to help a lot for picking off probes. Way better than those medevacs will be. What are you doing? Don't the Banshee. Save the starport. Yeah. Okay. Oh, can he take on this army? He could take on that army. He's got another command center. I mean, like, Sp Hunter's bouncing between these two bases, but what Spear doesn't realize is Hunter... Actually, Hunter's not making probes. I was going to say, he could still get his economy back up, but he's sitting on seven workers intentionally thinking he can end this game right here, right now. And that might not be Hunter. too far off from the truth. Hunter didn't really split correctly. <laughs> this is so awkward. I mean, five Marauders can actually kill the Stalkers. Five Marauders can kill that Colossus. But most importantly, that Banshee now gives him a bit of an edge. That's a lot of extra damage to have. He could just kind of focus down the Colossus with it and dance around with the Marauders. He... You might think it's the last command center, and that's why the focus is going so heavily on killing it, but... Ah, uh, that Banshee, what can she get done? Sentries do get removed. You can pick, pick up, up the Marauders! Pick up the Marauders! No! I think he tried. There you go, he tried. 
Banshee is gonna get taken out. No. Oh, the orbital command is gonna go. It's gonna go. Well, I think I think that was an expected loss for him. To be honest with you, that was like a calculated loss. I don't. He starts building another Banshee Marauder and oh, starts mining off his base. Know he would say it. <laughs> No. <laughs> Maybe. That's gone. That sucks. That really sucks. Oh. But he's producing. He's producing again. Whereas Hunter took so long to get any sort of money going for him. He can't he built the Stargate, but he can't build anything from it. He has no money. But there's just Ah oh, man, he was so close. I think those Spear, force weren't so good. I think Spear might not be out of this just yet. This has been really back and forth, right? We're like, oh, we think Spears got it. Oh, no, Hunter's got it. No, Spears got the kill move. He's got it. Would it be it so <laughs> funny if the Banshees ended up being more productive than, like, Vikings in situation? Like, they do a lot of damage to Colossus. Wait, that... Graviton beamed up the... What? <laughs> the mule can attack it. Uh, it goes to the Banshee. I mean, Banshees are light units, so they take a lot of damage to the Phoenix. Phoenix are pretty hard countered them. Hmm. Hmm. Well... Well, <laughs> uh, well, we got a donation I'd like to read off from Scantilus Noso. Which is, <laughs> Phoenix stop. It says, if today has taught us anything, it's that cats are greater than humanity. Bay Street TV isn't bad either. I don't know the context of that, but it's twenty dollars. So thank you for your generosity, kind sir. We also oh. have a fifteen dollar donation from uh, Jockus, who is linking me a gif of my banana eating eyebrows. I what? Thank you, Chakas. You know, have oracles, and uh, you know, those are going to provide vision, but they're also just going to be wreck wherever Spear takes a base again. I. This is such a weird game. If he hits, if he's got a cloak now, right? This could go a long way. That's the revelation. That's the envision. Sorry, pardon me. Coming out of the oracles, getting back into effect. But uh, does he get distracted? I mean, there's no observers. Unless Hunter's got map hacks on, like he doesn't know this is coming, right? Uh, and it's a joke, obviously. But takes out the first banshee. To, yeah, he has a baby. These banshees with the phoenix out. These are. Oh, it's too bad it was found out from a hunter. Oh, I actually, this is a pretty smart move. Checking the natural base. This would be where you would think to take your uh, your, your command center back. But did he really not know about? I mean, he knew about this from the phoenix. So I guess. Ah, oh, this is such a weird follow-up. New nexus coming down to hunter. He knows he's running out of money here at the mineral patches. Oracle tries to get some damage done, but the Marines are here to say, I don't think so. Uh, also too bad he does not say that at a command center. I mean, there's so many things that could have happened oh, that know. Spear would be able to do something, but I just really don't think he can. Well, speaking of the what-ifs, this, um, if, if Hunter had actually killed the supply depots, this recovery wouldn't be made possible. Spear had too much supply. He wouldn't have been able to build that SCV to build True. a supply depot, to build more racks, just to build more production. Yeah, that's also something that commonly happens. And the only way that Hunter oh, no. loses this collide. is if the force fields don't go down. Spear, 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 back up, back up, man. Don't take this fight. You can't take this fight. The, the, the Terran army finds the Colossus. Like, it's on top of the Colossus. But with force fields, those are so important. Actually, hallucinate. It's not a bad idea either, I suppose. Scans to see them, though, so he knows which ones are real. Focuses yeah, down the buffer, but is that enough? Marauders still standing in great quantities. 1-1. One, one. I still want to stress that. Banshee coming from the backside. No detection here just yet, so he tries to take down that one Colossus. Oh, my God. Is he taking it down? Oh, As my pull God. Pull the SCVs, lift the buildings, please. go for it. Go ham, lift Banshee. everything, go for the attack. No. He's trying no, to buy time. The Banshee dies. Or the, uh, the Banshee kills the Colossus. Why not? It's killing everything. He retreats. You're right, but here comes the Oracle. Here comes the Phoenix. It did so much damage, though. It did. It, it really so did. It's damage. one one real Colossus. Oh, the force fields are so good. He's got to make sure that Command Center doesn't die, though. He could repair it. He lifts the Raxxas. Marauder dies. Oh, what what even happens in this situation? I don't even know. There's no <laughs> anti-air. Gets the Colossus. <gasps> one more shot. Oh, goes down. Now it's just gateway units versus Marauders. He's falling back because of the... He has no anti here. He can't deal with the Oracle. Oh no! He can't deal with the Oracle. <laughs> what the? Wha it's gonna run out of energy though. It's gonna run out of energy, but not for a while. Thirty seconds. Oh my god! Pick up with. Yeah, I can't even pick up. There's stalkers. There's. Oh my god! This is such a weird game. I think Spears gonna lose. No. Everything <laughs> dying right here. He lands at the gold. What? Oh, there's the GG. What a game. What a finals. <laughs> This is like, 